I'm Shanice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm celebrating days 17 and 18 of my 25 days of Christmas. So day 17 is wear something festive. So this is what I'm wearing today. One of my girlfriends gave me a bag full of her Christmas t-shirts and sweaters and I decided to wear this one today. And for day 18, it's gonna be reindeer games. So tonight I have a few girlfriends coming over later. I need to do some last minute shopping as well as finding some prizes for the games. We're gonna do three different games. We're gonna do an introduction bingo game. We're also gonna do a Christmas charades and Christmas trivia. So I need to find prizes for each of those. I pretty much have prepped everything. So now I'm just gonna get ready for the day. I wanted to do a get ready with me because I've been using some new products recently. Um, this brand and active skincare sent me some of their products. So I used the orange cleanser, I used the coconut toner and the pomegranate moisturizer. So let's start with the coconut toner. I'm just gonna put some of that on my cotton ball. And I really like this toner. It feels like it's working, you know? I have normal to oily skin. So I like the feeling of my skin being clean. All right. Also using their moisturizer with squalene. So I'm not gonna wear any makeup today except for mascara and my eyebrow pencil. Oh, that moisturizer just feels incredible. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit. Perfume, black opium, I got it for my birthday. Thanks, hubby. He told me never to call him that, so thanks, Devin. I was in the market for a new natural deodorant and I found Kopari. I listened to a podcast with the creators like a couple years ago, um, but I finally bit the bullet and I bought it. So, got this and it smells so nice, fresh, clean. I love it. Makeup, <laughs> drugstore mascara, the L'Oreal Voluminous. I really like it. I have small, short eyelashes. Yeah, it definitely adds volume, makes it much thicker oh this is also l'oreal l'oreal brow stylist definer use that and blend it out that's it for the face and the hair um i'm gonna head to the store get a couple things and then i'll see you to party prep so the plan is we are gonna make a christmas tree charcuterie board i have everything already cut up and set up Let's assemble. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. So I want to do this. We can do some cheese. And Just be careful Why? not to make the cheese get too low. Here, I'll get my rosemary and we'll make it look more like a tree. Let's take that off. I've got rosemary here that I got from the store. How about this? And then look at that. Oh, here. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I tricked you. They all stuck together. So next, I think we're gonna do some turkey. Just kind of like roll it up. Ooh, you don't really want to keep it directly onto the cheese because in my opinion, whenever I pack lunches and stuff with the meat and the cheese in the same container or like severely next to each other, it's like the cheese gets weird. Oh, okay. So, whenever, so you don't want to get your cheese super duper moist. That's when gotcha. it gets like really gross. <laughs> and you don't really want to eat wet cheese. <laughs> gotcha. That doesn't sound good. Not at all. So. Okay, good point. So we'll so. move that. Bella does not like the wet cheese. And we personally, do. I don't think other guests would like it either. You are right. Another layer here. And then you can put the star on the tree later. Yes. But you kind of want to make it like wide at the bottom and then like... Do you feel like it's not wide enough? Yeah, I kind of want it to go out just a little bit more so then like it can go up like a tree would. Okay, so here. Like that? Yeah. Spread it out a little, add a little bit more cheese so we don't waste too much. No, we won't go to waste, babe. Okay, so we'll have a little bit of the raspberries. More rosemary. <laughs> I just love this little star. I'm gonna put it at the top. Yeah. It looks super cute. Look. And then we should do what? Cucumber next? Yes. I'm kind of getting blocky again. Okay, yeah, move it up. There you go. Do you guys? Sense. All right, now we can do the last bit of cheese. 
and this done. Okay, look how cute it is. It does look kind of like a tree. And then I think I have like other little stars. The other little stars, to, I did triangles as well. <laughs> But I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna Look how the cheese out. Okay. So it looks like it's sparkling. So we've got pepperoni, rosemary, cheddar, rosemary, turkey, rosemary, raspberries, rosemary, cucumber, rosemary, white cheddar, white cheddar. This is so cute and festive. Thank you for helping me. Yeah. Let's do the crackers, or maybe I should do the crackers last. I don't want them to go stale. You know what I mean? Updated the cucumbers and cut them in half. It just felt too big. So this is what it's looking like. It's so cute. I just froze some oranges yesterday and put those in there. So now it'll keep the drink nice and cold without watering it down. This is the drink station. I have my cup of cheer sign here. We've got some wine. I've got some holiday punch. It's made of cranberry juice, orange juice, and Sprite. I also added just a touch of cinnamon, some fresh fruit, and some rosemary. I put some rosemary in the glasses for garnish, and normally I have disposable cups with Sharpies for names, but since we're having wine, I made wine glass tags from printed paper that I got from Michaels. It's super easy to make. I just traced the bottom of the glass, I cut a slit, and then made a circle for the stem to fit through. It's so festive and nobody's gonna lose their drinks. Okay, so this is the current food table situation. Over here, I'm gonna do a spinach dip croissant wreath. This plate is just for utensils, and then this pan will be for my cheesy chicken meatballs. Some of my friends don't eat pork, and I want it there to be an alternative, but also I love this pan because it's red and it matches. This board will be for cheese. This board will be for crackers and bread. I also got some Boom Chicka Pop popcorn. I thrifted this guy over the summer and he's gonna be for our hummus. I've got these extra bowls here for fruit and Chex Mix. It just looks so fun. Oh, and I made homemade chocolate chip cookies. So now I need to make both of these. I'm making this spinach dip croissant wreath situation and I got this from Sprouts yesterday. I got it for a dollar, it was normally like five. So I'm gonna hurry up and make this. For the spinach dip, I'm gonna add this, cream cheese, sour cream, and mozzarella, I think it is, and then mix it all together, and then form a wreath, and then bake it. So I was at Michael's and I got these tumblers. They were in the fall section, so they were 70% off. And then this candle here was only 250, so these are gonna be the prizes for my games tonight. Day 19 but before we get into 19 let's talk about day 18 my reindeer game night was so much fun it was really cool having my friends from different friend groups come and meet each other and hang out so that was nice the decorations were festive the games were fun but the food the food was the hit listen the appetizers were delicious but the cookies is where it was at they were chewy but they had like that firm crust at the bottom they were chocolatey and sweet without being overly sweet it was just delicious. If you watched my video, I think it was day seven through nine, I made holiday cookies, but they came out so flat and I realized it's because I one, added an extra egg and two, the recipe calls for softened butter, but I always melt it. And for some reason it comes out better that way. So that's what I did this time. I add the whole bag of chocolate chips. So each bite is chocolatey. My friends love the prizes and luckily everyone left with something. So that ended up working out. As for day 19, today is participate in Secret Santa. So this started whenever my older sister and I graduated, we left. So instead of buying everyone Christmas gifts, oh my God. Our Secret Santa tradition started years ago when my sister and I moved out. Instead of buying everyone individual gifts for Christmas, we all draw names and buy one gift for that person. This also helps because my brother's birthday is in December, my dad, my mom, and my sister's birthday is all in January. 
So we are gonna be buying gifts anyways, and it just kind of works out for everybody. But I did wanna mention this website that I found last year. It's called Draw Names, and you send out an email to everyone, and it draws people's names from the email. And it was great because one of my sister lives out of state, so we can just email her and she can draw the name rather than my mom having to draw two and text her who she's got. It's just better this way. In the email, you can draw your name. It shows the date of the exchange. It shows the budget of the exchange, and it gives you the option to put in your mailing address, which is perfect for people who don't live near each other who participate in Secret Santa. Another cool thing about Draw Names is that they have a place to make a wish list. Now this wish list is linked to Amazon and it's all under your budget that you set for Secret Santa. And then it goes straight to the person who has your name. So there's no guessing, you know exactly what the person wants and it makes so much sense. So we've been using Draw Names for the past couple years and it's just been so helpful. So I will link that down below as well. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.